I have, for example, for Trump, uh, to bet on you can bet on the Republican Party being the party to win the White House. You can bet on Trump to win the White House. You can bet on the electoral electoral college all the way up to for the Republicans to win the electoral college vote. You can vote. They basically allow a bunch of different uh, groups like uh, for them to win by less than 30 electoral votes, more, less than 60. My view is to bet all of those all the way up to less than 150 and to bet against the Democrats. Uh, there you can bet against the Democrats winning by 100 or more all the way up because here's in predict it. The majority odds is that not only will Democrats win the election, but that they will win by more than 100 electoral votes. So you can bet against that, of course, and I recommend betting against that at every stage. Uh, you can bet that there won't be a woman vice president. Uh, you can bet uh, that, uh, and then on individual states, you can bet on, on the popular vote. What I recommend is anywhere from Republicans by two to Democrats by three makes sense. What I'm betting on is mostly I'm betting against Democrats winning by seven or more. And that's uh, that's almost a majority bet when you aggregate it up. And, and often for folks that don't know, the way that bet happens is they'll say odds of Democrats win by seven or to eight points, uh, that, a, that there's a 14 percent chance of Democrats winning that exact number. You bet no on that. And then you bet no on all the other ones around it. It aggregates up to equivalent of betting 50-50 that Democrats don't win by seven or more.